What's up, YouTube? We're about to talk about... Hey, fish. What are you doing? Alright, yeah, I can do that. Sounds good. So, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, it's been a while since I've done a review on a mod, but it all comes back to we're going to do a review on what's in this box right here. It has four sides. These two sides are longer than these sides, so technically it's a rectangle. But yeah, we're going to be doing a review on the Lizard Box Mods Evolution Pro. It is the V2. Uh, it's a nice box, very tiny box mod. This isn't a tiny box. But what's in it is a very tiny box mod. But yeah, let's drop down to the table. This is going to be a quick review. I haven't done a review in two weeks because I've been lazy as shit. And uh, yeah, let's make this an easy one. Alright, looking at the box it comes in. comes in a box just like this. has a little, uh, little lizard. It says lizard. Nothing on the back, nothing on the sides. Uh, when you open up, a little foam, foam deal, foam-esque. And it's going to come with two extra O-rings which I believe are for your 510 uh, connection system. Okay, looking at this right now, look how clean the sled is in here. Everything in here is super clean. Um, very nice, very compact. Uh, you got the solid silver contacts for your battery. Uh, your, this, the, uh, the bottle system or the, the squonk system is rhodium and palladium uh, plated. The 510 system itself. This is stainless steel. It's a 22 millimeter plate. Uh, let's just let me show you a quick little uh, what batteries will fit or not batteries what bottles will fit this is the bottle that came with it I'm not really a fan of it but it will fit of course because it came with it these are called X star I believe or Y star bottles I can't remember but they fit I just gotta cut the uh, the tube to fit um, I know a lot of you high-end users you like the uh, the glucose bottle they fit perfect Unfortunately, uh, Lost Fate bottles do not fit. They are too big. So, when putting your bottles in, just kind of put it right there in the tube. And it sits right there. Very nice. It's going to sit there. And it's going to be held in with these two little uh, notches. So, then you got to put your battery in second. And everything fits in very nicely. What I really like about this is these two little tracks. They fit right into the guides. And right on their magnet. Alright, so one unique thing about this is the 510 pin connection itself. Let me uh, screw down an RDA and show you. Alright, see how it's hitting right now? Now let's just say my pin was not connected. Let's just say that um, Let's just say my pin was not long enough. Instead of having to get a screwdriver out, you can just use this little uh, nut right here. And you spin it with your finger. So I really like that. That's very unique to me. I think that that's a very good thing. Uh, I like I like that you don't have to get a screwdriver out and fiddle with an adjustable 510. So the 510 is adjustable, but it's adjustable internally and without having to take this off. So it's very nice. Uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, taking a look at it just real quickly. You can see your battery right there. And uh, that's good for venting. That's good for helping you get the battery out. Over here, there's your squonk bottle. It's just very nice. Very, very nice, compact. Everything looks good on it, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's all the important stuff. Uh, I will have more more of the information about the internals uh, at the end of the video. So yeah, stay tuned for that, guys. This thing's super dope, super clean, super nice. Let's go back up on top. All right, I'm gonna keep this short, sweet, and to the motherfucking point. Uh, I like this box mod. All right, I'm done. That wouldn't be a very good review. So I'm just kidding. But I like this box mod a lot. 
Um, I like the internals, how clean they are. I like um, everything about the internals of this, other than you got to take this battery out to get the bottle out. Unless you're using a refill system, and then you don't got to worry about it. But I don't use refill systems, so for me, I, I uh, have to take the battery out, and put the bottle out, and then fill it up, and then what? You know what I mean? Um, I like how it fits in the hand. I mean, it's a little bit small, but, you know, I like how compact it is. I like the ergonomics of it. This part fits in your hand really nice. Uh, I like the buttons. I think the buttons are unique. They're innovative. They're they're different. They're like built in. I think that's very cool. Um, I like the placement of the squonk bottle. I think it's very nice. So if you're thumb firing it, it you know, or your pinky, or this one, or this one, uh, it's very reachable for any type of hand. Uh, huge hands might have difficulty with this. My hands are you know normal, and it, you know they wrap around it, but it still feels nice. Uh, I like that you could either finger fire it or thumb fire it and either way it feels nice. Uh, I like that, you know, for me I only use 22 millimeters uh, RDA so it looks really nice on there. I know some people don't like that it's going to be cockeyed, not centered, but you know that's just how it has to be for the bottle system. Uh, I will put up a picture right now of the bottle system, of this bottle system, it's called the Smart System, the 510 Connection System. Uh, I'll put a picture up right now. So, the system itself, the contacts are solid silver. Uh, the 510 system is rhodium and palladium contact uh, plated. Um, this is a DNA 75C. I don't know why, but my replay doesn't work. If you could let me know below, if you see the number keeps jumping up there. I think it's because I use nichrome coils or because this thing needs updated. But if you could kind of let me know, I don't have... This is my first device with replay on it, but I don't know how to use it, to be honest. Uh, I like how compact this is. I think I already said that. But in the grand scheme of things, it's about the same size as the E-Petite. It, it really is about the same size, to be honest. I mean, it, this one feels better in the hand than this, because this is boxier. This is more ergonomic. It kind of fits the, the shaping of your hand. Uh, the price of this is around 300 euros, uh, plus shipping. Uh, this is a Polyamide 2200 or a PA11. Uh, this thing's just super nice, guys. I, I, I can't really say anything else. I think that if you like 3D printed boxes and you like high end, you're really going to like this. But it all comes down to your means and how much you can spend and how much you're willing to spend. Um, for me, I will use this a lot. You're going to see this in my future reviews. I like, like I said, the compact of it and how I can just put it in my pocket and go. I can put it in like a shirt pocket and it, it doesn't weigh my shirt down because uh, I work in a job that I need a shirt pocket. But yeah, uh, other than that, guys, I like how you can see your battery. So if you got some cool wraps, you can see them. As you can see, I got a Louis V battery wrap because, you know, they make battery wraps. Uh, I didn't buy it from China or anything. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Sitting on top is the Hussar uh, RDTA+. Plus. I'm going to have a review on that coming out soon. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for being patient. I try to get some videos out, but I've been lazy as shit. Uh, I'm going to have more out soon. Uh, I have a lot of products to get through, and I just have been lazy. That's about it. But uh, yeah, thanks, guys.